All right, so year after year, I buy the latest iPhone and I typically buy the most inexpensive regular iPhone, like the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 13. And I buy that one because it's the one that offers the best value for your money. You get the latest chipset from Apple, you get the latest technology and all that for a much lower price than the Pro model. And in many cases, that Pro model wasn't really that Pro. So that's why I buy the regular iPhone year after year. So of course this year I bought the latest iPhone, which is the iPhone 14. And I have to say, what a disappointment. When I took the phone out of the box, I thought to myself, man, maybe they made a mistake. Maybe they sent me an old iPhone 13, but in a different color because this phone looks just like my iPhone 13. Even my case that I was using on the iPhone 13 fits the iPhone 14. Something that doesn't happen in the Apple world. They always change something so you have to buy a new case. Now, you can actually use the old case from your old iPhone 13 with the iPhone 14. So this phone is pretty much identical to the iPhone 13. I mean, the buttons on the 14 are slightly larger, but you wouldn't be able to tell if you don't actually have both phones side by side. And the circles here around the cameras are also slightly larger, but we all know that the ultra wide camera on the back of the 14 is the same as the ultra wide camera that we have on the back on of the 13. So that's only bigger, so the phone looks a bit different, I'm gonna say. Now, Apple also changed the main camera on the back of the 14, so now supposedly the new sensor can get up to 46% more light. And I was kind of excited about that, even though everything else about the phone is kind of the same. So of course, I took my iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14 and took hundreds of pictures. I actually done a camera comparison between these two phones and I found that the iPhone 13 takes the better overall pictures compared to the iPhone 14. So even though we have a new rear camera, I find that the software kind of messes with those pictures. Um, they are a bit um, grainier, I'm gonna say. They have more contrast. The colors are a bit more saturated. So I actually prefer most of the pictures that I took with my iPhone 13. I will also leave a link to that camera comparison in the video description or the top right corner if you wanna watch it. Now with the iPhone 14, we get um, what's called the action mode. So that's a type of video recording where the footage is steadier than normal. The maximum recording resolution for that is 2.8K and yes, it does look pretty good, but I mean, I've seen that for other phones in the past and that's definitely a software feature, something that Apple is not gonna include on the iPhone 13, even though I'm pretty sure the iPhone 13 can do the exact same thing as the iPhone 14, they even have the same chipset. So the iPhone 14 is not actually using the latest um, Apple chipset, which is um, the Bionic A16, it's using last year's chipset, so the one that we had in the iPhone 13 Pro. Even the scores on the Geekbench 5 are pretty similar. And realistically, when you're using the phones, you are not gonna notice a difference in performance. So Apple could have included that new feature, the action mode on the iPhone 13, but they're not because they don't want to. So they can differentiate them, the phones a little and basically force you into buying the new 14. So you feel like you have that new feature. The screens on the 13 and the 14 are also the same. Now, supposedly the 14 has a somewhat higher resolution, but you're not gonna be able to tell just by looking at them. The brightness is kind of the same, so I haven't actually noticed a difference for the screen quality. With the 14 Pro, you actually get a massive, massive difference this year compared to last year's 13 Pro, for example. Now, I did notice one good thing about the 14. Actually, that's the pretty much the only good thing that I've noticed about the 14. Whenever you use this for extended periods of time, outside in direct sunlight where it's super hot, the screen doesn't get uh, dim that quickly. With the iPhone 13, after you take pictures and videos for, I don't know, 20 minutes, the phone gets so hot and the screen dims a lot. It's almost impossible to see. Well, I haven't actually noticed that um, happening with the iPhone 14. So I guess that's one good thing about the iPhone 14 when compared to last year's iPhone 13. Now, because the screen stays brighter for a longer period of time when compared to the iPhone 13, it also seems like the iPhone 14 gets somewhat lower battery life compared to the 13, even though they have a pretty similar battery inside. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm not gonna be able to get um, the same battery life that I used to get on the 13 on the new 14, which again is kind of disappointing. So for me, the iPhone 14 is definitely not an upgrade from the iPhone 13. I feel that someone that doesn't have an iPhone 13 could get an iPhone 14 and maybe feel um, like they got an upgrade. But if you have an iPhone 13, the 14 is definitely not um, an upgrade. Now, I'm almost wondering if Apple did that on purpose to force users into buying the more expensive version, the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm actually gonna have to use the iPhone 14 Pro this year because the 14 is just not good enough. There is a massive difference this year between the 14 Pro and the regular 14. The screen is so much better on this one. We have a new camera on the back of the 14 Pro. So the regular iPhone 14 feels like a scam to me. So I'm definitely not gonna keep the iPhone 14. This phone is 100% not worth its price. You're better off to buy an iPhone 13 instead of the 14. Or if you have the extra money to go ahead and buy the Pro, which is so much better than the regular iPhone 14. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.